What's up guys? Welcome back to another Tesla video. Big things are going on, especially in the battery department. That's one of the things that we haven't really been talking about. And obviously with Tesla batteries being so well done and having such good mileage, a lot of people are trying to make batteries right now. A lot of people are trying to make electric vehicles. But here's the thing. EV batteries are at a massive shortage. I mean, you got like massive companies and massive batteries. They just simply can't get the nickel they need. I mean, you got like lithium mines. They consistently get the price up. People just keep buying them. Cobalt is like super rare right now. Nickel, everyone is constantly trying to get them. In fact, there's such a big nickel shortage to the point that Tesla said their standard range Model 3s and Model Ys will be using iron instead of nickel. It's going to be all right, but here's the thing. It's not going to be enough nickel for everyone. Right now, there's reports suggesting that LG Energy Solution, this is the recently spin-off battery division of LG Chem, and LG Energy Solution will be expanding its manufacturing plant to produce even more lithium-ion batteries for Tesla vehicles. Tesla right now is selling more cars than ever before, especially with the upcoming launch and release, and we should be getting more leaks about this, the $25,000 Tesla. This is big because that will explode sales. Right now, if I wanna order a Model 3, I gotta wait a few weeks because it's under production. There's currently no cars that's fully produced and fully available yet. A lot of the vehicles right now have all been pre-ordered and you gotta wait a long time. Like China, for example. The Model Ys are sold, sold out to the point you have to order it to summer. This summer, yeah, you gotta wait several months to get your Model Y if you wanna order it right now. And the dates and times keeps getting pushed back because more and more people just keep buying more Teslas. It's a really phenomenal car, I can't really blame them. So far, you do have LG Kim trying to sign another massive deal with Tesla. This is gonna be a massive battery contract and this should be very lucrative for LG. That's why they're doing it. And this should benefit Tesla because they get more battery sales and sell more vehicles. LG Energy Solutions has a pretty big presence with Tesla's supply chain. And you do have them making a lot of the older 2170 battery cells, but these cells will eventually be replaced by the 4680 battery cells. So I feel like this contract being signed with Tesla will be very beneficial. I feel like right now Tesla is in a massive need for electric vehicles. And keep in mind that in the next couple years, more companies will be announcing their own electric vehicles. Therefore, it's gonna be having even more of a shortage and everyone will be scrambling to get EV batteries Whereas Tesla is trying to secure their own little storage of lithium, nickel, iron. Right now, LG Energy Solutions is looking at sites in the Europe area and also in the US area. They want to be making some factories to start cranking out these batteries for Tesla. They may actually open up in a Texas factory or maybe open up in California. It's really hard to tell, but I feel like that's going to be pretty awesome. Tesla and LG hasn't confirmed any details about this contract, but LG Energy Solutions will be playing a pretty big role in its supply chain. And I feel like Tesla will definitely take this contract. It's going to be very important. LG is going to be making a lot of money, and that's why they're going in. You also have other car companies. I've listed them before. Volkswagen. You got Range Rover, Mercedes, BMW, GM. They're all going electric, but here's the thing not everyone will be having a fair playing ground. Everyone is scrambling to get EV batteries. In the next five years, when most of the cars being sold on the road are gonna be brand new EV vehicles, it's gonna be a very difficult time for people to get electric batteries. I felt like there's gonna be massive shortages and stuff like that. There's gonna be massive waits for EVs because the lithium mines and nickel mines right now just simply can't keep up with the demand. This is the first time ever when virtually a lot of the companies are suddenly changing to electric. It's not like a slow change. In fact, a lot of companies who never made hybrids suddenly change to electric vehicles. Not to mention all the brand new electric car companies coming out like Faraday, Neo, X-Pen, you do have got Lucid and also Rivian. Those guys are also pretty big. Right now, the Tesla batteries are also being built by Panasonic. We could be seeing another massive contract being signed with Panasonic, especially how Panasonic did agree before to make the prototype 4680 battery cell production lines, which would definitely be supplying Tesla with all the battery cells they need. That's some pretty awesome stuff, but let's just see what happens. A lot of these contracts aren't really talked about in the press because they're simply not as exciting as regular car news. Would you rather hear news about the brand new Tesla Roadster or news about the batteries? Most people click on the 
Roadster article. This is why a lot of the battery news, people aren't really hearing about it, but I feel like this is a genius plan. Making these massive contracts with these massive battery providers will really solidify Tesla as a key player. Remember, if you have a massive battery shortage and you can't really make electric vehicles, and let's say Tesla can, you're losing out on a ton of market share and a ton of money. Last but not least, before we wrap up the video, is we gotta talk about the full self-driving beta here. Because on Friday night, Tesla essentially revealed that the car maker will be expanding the test field to 2,000 users. Initially, it was only like a select number of people, a small handful essentially. That's why you only see like a few videos on YouTube and a few videos on Twitter about the FSD beta. But now, 2,000 users will get it and we should be seeing more tests. The first batch with a handful of people are very impressive. There were no accidents and everything was okay. Now, Elon Musk did go on Twitter and said, that the FSD beta has expanded to 2,000 owners and also revoked beta software where drivers not pay significant attention on the road. He also says that there is no accidents to date, which is also very appealing. Essentially, Tesla just doesn't want any sort of a bad news press or a bad accident because a driver wasn't paying attention. Remember, the FSD beta is good, but it's not good to the point where you could be distracted. You still gotta pay attention on the road, etc i mean there are some videos occasionally where the vehicle almost ran into like a parked car i saw that video once it was kind of wild and they had to do like emergency brake but that was like the only incident so definitely be responsible with the fsd beta but we should be seeing a massive software update around april that way we should be seeing even more updates more clearance and also better software it will react to different scenarios better the fsd beta is really appealing because you actually use it on a daily basis with the original autopilot, you can only use it on highways. This one, you can actually use it in inner cities. It will recognize pedestrians, stop signs, road lines, other vehicles, etc. So it's looking very good. And what's even more impressive is Tesla is managing to make the cars a lot lower of a price because they only use cameras instead of LiDAR. LiDAR is extremely expensive. If you check out the Neo ET7, that's like a small sedan. It's equipped to the teeth with LiDAR sensors, and they're selling it for $70,000. And that's kind of expensive in my opinion. And so far, Musk is saying that the FSD beta will be upgrading all of the neural networks to different surround videos. It will have focal areas, etc. So the FSD beta's functionality should be very good. And later this year, at the end of 2021, Tesla could roll out with a fully autonomous vehicle. Musk says that he's extremely confident in late 2020 that we should be having a fully autonomous Tesla by the end of this year. And by the looks of things, with this massive update in April and a massive general release in the summertime, I feel like there will be a lot more data being collected from the autonomous driving Teslas so they can actually make better software. I'm really excited to see what Tesla is doing for. In fact, if you want to invest in Tesla, right now could be a pretty dope time. The share prices are extremely low right now and it could be a really smart way to make more money. Thanks for watching.